We're winding down as we're on the back half of June. Also, last couple of games for the Iowa Barnstormers and unfortunately one more game to go and that's it Jackie for I would say unfortunately home, I'd say home. a fortunate opportunity mm -hmm. to go see the Iowa Barnstormers it's been a, a very fun year with a lot of changes made to the affiliation and things mm -hmm. like that but we're here to bring we brought in the Prez to kind of tell us what's going on <laughs> president of the Iowa Barnstormers Jeff Lamberti is joining us here so you you made the switch over to for the, uh, the different organizations how has the transition gone it's gone very well you know we were explain uh, I say first of all explain what what the difference was well we we left the arena football league and went to what's called the IFL the indoor football league and quite frankly for us it was mostly an economic choice we wanted to make sure this team could survive and the economic model of AFL just simply got out of control for a city uh, of our size so we made the difficult decision to make the move uh, it's worked out really well we're an expansion team so we would have liked to have won a couple more games but I gotta tell you everything is moving in the right directions in terms of our coaches our team and we're happy we made the change and quite frankly this is going to be a, a really strong, strong franchise in the future. How weird of a situation was it that you are the Iowa Barnstormers are an expansion team and a league and actually a sport that was created by the founder of the Barnstormers? Right, right. it is uh, pretty interesting. And actually, Jim Foster is going to be at our game uh, oh, on Saturday. He? So, you know, we want to keep that tied to the past because we think it's more important to be the Barnstormers than it really is what league we've been in. I agree. Uh, we were in the original AFL. Then we brought the team back in what was called AF2. Mm -hmm. Then we went back up to AFL, and now we're in the IFL. So it's okay. more about our history and our name than it is about which league we're playing in. You know, it, it's a great product. It's a fun product. It's it's a it's very entertaining. I just introduced my kids to it uh, on television last weekend. They loved it. it it's fast paced, and it's a fun place to take a family. And from what I see, and, and I don't get out much, but from what I see uh, when Jackie is there, it seems very well attended. It seems like you have a good following. Yeah, we always are looking to grow, but we have a great following. We have really dedicated uh, season ticket holders in particular, and we want to just continue to grow. It is fun, uh, and quite frankly, if you can't have fun at a Barnstormer game, there's probably something wrong with you, not right. with us. Right. Because <laughs> it is that much fun, and it's exciting, great athletes, and we we just have a lot of fun with it. I think you hit the nail on the head saying entertaining, fun, fast paced. That's definitely what you can experience when you get out there. And you could really, as the season progresses this year, we could really see things just kind of lining up into place, yeah. which is makes exciting for new seasons to come. Yeah, I mean, we really had a bunch of young players that had to learn this game. We also had a coaching staff mm -hmm. that needed to learn right. this game. And they've just worked incredibly hard all year long. We've got better. Uh, and I do think we're going to be a perennial playoff team in this league. I, I really feel that. I think everything's going in the right direction. Why do you think the city of Des Moines is so behind the Barnstormers? Probably that history and tradition. I mean, it's pretty hard to uh, uh, forget Kurt Warner and some of that. In fact, you know, on Saturday, we're going to induct uh, Jim Zobel into our Hall of Fame. Are you really? Uh, he's, right. he's our first uh, broadcaster. Yeah. yeah. And Jim loved the Barnstormers, loved the indoor game. Um, and, you know, it, he has just been a great, was a great supporter of ours. And actually, the first 2,000 fans are going to get a Jim Zobel bobblehead. No way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's something pretty unique. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they're going to get, so <laughs> if you want a Jim Zobel bobblehead, which is going to be kind of a collector that item. That will be a collector uh, item. First 2,000 fans in the door get, get that. Now, we also have a special offer if you want to guarantee. Uh, bobblehead for $45 you get a ticket to the game a guaranteed bobblehead and then we're going to have a reception with some VIPs including Ed Podolak, Jim Foster, John Gregory and then we've wow. invited all former Barnstormer players to come so it's going to be a private really? reception oh, that's worth before it. the yeah. game. That's for 45 bucks? Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. I get into that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a lot of fun as, and well, as you can see here we are always having oh, fun. Scotty, Scott Casmer announcer, who's yeah. uh, nope. announcing now we always have our, our selfie before the game before we get going and it just kind of speaks to the fun that we have there. A lot of promotional events going on as well. I'm able to kind of work with the audience and, and walk around and you just meet some very loyal fun people people that come from all like from Arizona they're in town for they the do. summer they come to the game because they know it's a great experience yeah, they do and they have fun and they're uh they're a little crazy at times. And of course, actually, the Barnstormers were kind of the first team that really introduced the cowbell. Now you see them in arenas we, all over the place. Because we had we had the barnyard. Right. You know, we had the barnyard, and that was our thing. We, we yeah, There was a couple of times we had different noses that you came on the barnyard. Everybody had, like, horse noses and pig noses, and that was the barnyard, and that was the rage. And there other teams were complaining about the about noise the barnyard <laughs> was making. No lie. That yeah, was a lot of fun. There's still some cows and yeah. things that show up, Lou, yeah. if you want to stop by. Uh, the uh, there actually are. Arena. There yeah. actually are. But... You know, others now have adopted that yes, because it was have. so popular. And the great thing about that is that wasn't something the team did. 
the fans just created that mm -hmm. and started bringing cowbells. And that's what we like about it. They're very spontaneous. They create their own uh, excitement and things to do, and, and it just makes it fun. You know what else is really fun? Go to the game. First and foremost, go to the game and, and experience it in person, but while you're gone, record it when you're home, because when you come home, you can watch the game back and hear Larry Morgan doing the play-by-play. -play. That's yeah. right. Which is really yeah. cool to hear Larry doing football games. They do a great mm -hmm. job with that, and of course, Scott Casper, our, I mean, he gets the crowd going, and um, we just have a lot of fun, and, and like I said, um, everything's going in the right direction. Come experience it, get ready for next year, and quite frankly, get a Jim Zobble bobblehead. That's because, worth it. I mean, people, our phone's ringing off the hook because people want those. They want to make sure they're going to get one. And uh, remind people how they can make sure to get one. Uh, of those. Call our office, 633-2255, because it's getting close to Saturday's game. That's the best way. Just give us a call, and uh, we'll make arrangements. Make sure you can get a bobblehead. All right, go get them, Barb Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Good to see you, my yeah, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. It is 831. We'll be back. You're watching Great Day Live on KCWI.